Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for watching Manny Scale Modeling Podcast. We got Marcelo from Mars Garage on right there. How's it going, bro? Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, so the first thing I wanted to talk to you about, which is we already been talking for a while, but um, let's talk about the uh, Rust Bucket Group Build last year. Okay, so the when I started my um, the channel. Um, I would see everybody else do their their group builds and stuff. And I asked um three members of the community, and I won't say any names, just just yeah. just you know, just just to keep it, you know, they they know who they are. So I asked them, you know, what's the good, the bad, and the ugly of, of doing uh group builds. So obviously they all pretty much came out with similar answers to it. So and they all asked me what was I planning of, of doing. And I go, you know what? everyone has their own taste of, of what they do and i haven't seen anyone have or host i should say um uh, anything that's um related to the weather vehicles or weather dioramas or weather anything so right. i kind of pitched out the the idea of, of the rust bucket a rust bucket could mean anything we all have spare uh, bodies that are just sitting there and we will never get to use them because we use them for parts and sometimes we throw those away or we just give them out but mm -hmm. why not just save them why not just do a, a, a quick diorama or or you know just something fun you know just just nothing that oh you know i i have this this kit and i will never use it and it's just you know get tossed in in, in the backyard or not the backyard but in the shed in the backyard and it just stays there and you know melts away per se yeah so um once i was i was pitching that idea they're like oh yeah then do that and i go how about with the rules no rules why do you need any rules because it's just a rust bucket anything goes you can make holes break it whatever and mm -hmm. then if you don't like it then you can actually throw it away after you're done yeah and mm -hmm. long behold i never thought that that was going to be uh a success uh, um like i hear People are asking me, hey, are you doing it this year? I, through emails, uh, are you going to, you know, host it again? And so this year we are going to host a Rust Bucket Group Build yeah. for the 2024. You, you definitely have to, man. That was fun. That was fun build. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen some some members from the community that they have never rusted a, a, a kit. And yeah. now they I, I see them doing, oh, yeah, I just bought the Tamiya's, the ABCD, whatever weathering um packet things that yeah to me ourselves and i see people oh yeah I, I like it definitely do another one so yeah it's 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 pretty cool to see that you know it's it's um it, it was a, a success i've been seeing a lot of people uh doing new people doing the rust stuff and on videos and they all mention you that they saw your rust video yeah yeah and yeah, that's, that's cool. and the the one that comes to my mind the first is uh eric Oh yes, yeah. yeah. You know, oh, his 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 rust. It's pretty nice. It's actually better than mine. I saw that Cuda. I was like, oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, yeah that thing looks sick. And, yeah. You know, Tony T Dog. He does uh, rusting too, but he does it with the brushes, which yeah. I'm trying to learn that, but I can't get the hang of it. You know, so those sponges and those makeup sponges and stuff. I mean, they they work awesome. Yeah, the um, I mean, I can't take credit for it because I got it from somebody else, and I mean, we right. all share ideas. So, yeah. Um, yeah. the only difference is that when I saw the first video from Tim, Tim, I was like, "Oh, this is so cool!" Because the end result, you can't fake that. It gives you the the texture of rust, and you know, rust has texture. And ever since then, that's all I've been doing, just trying to perfect that the texture that it's it's very very convincing on yeah on plastic people are like oh yeah that's is is that real rust to go no it's 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 yeah. a trick yeah and yeah. It, it's, it's very convincing and it was funny too because uh I, I was on facebook looking at pictures and stuff and a couple of guys were posting some of the uh 
their their weathered cars rusting that i'm like man i want to learn how to do that so i went on youtube i don't even think i had my channel yet went on youtube typed it in and i came across your yours so that yeah. was the first one and uh i told the wife i said we got to go to the you know michael's or something and get this uh paint so i can try the the rust and i did that the hell was it the uh it was a truck yeah it was the i think it was a cameo truck or something yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah. And, uh, yeah it just looked awesome i mean the holes weren't you know great because they were too big but <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we all gotta remember that that's that's the beauty of the rust that, that the rust is not perfect. The rust has yeah. different colors depending on where you're at. If like you, you're in New York, the rust in New York it's completely different than the rust from Arizona because it's yeah. it's just different types of elements. So yeah, yeah you can never go wrong on, on doing rust. Well, and if, I don't, if what's I made, that? If I made the holes big then it's perfect for New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's maybe that's probably why I, I, I go more for, for the rust. And it's funny because people stress out. I, I don't know how to do rust. It's just too stressful. I'm the opposite. I get too stressed trying to do a glossy paint job because it's like, if you screw it up, oh crap, I got to strip it down and start all over. Yeah. But the rusty, I don't care. I, if, the the uglier the crappier the better because it gives you the um uh story and that's that's what i like i, I like to tell a story without telling a story you yeah. can see you see a plastic model on the picture and it's all rusted and i don't have to say anything because whatever it's, it's on it your imagination would just go oh okay this is something that someone was working on or it's just something that's sitting on in the backyard or a barn fine or whatever yep. so yeah that's that's probably why i like that more yeah. than than glossy yeah and and i've noticed i mean most all yours are all you know russet or you know some type of weathering on you know daily drivers yeah you did you did a couple uh you know glossy paint jobs for a couple builds yeah yeah i could do glossy but it it, i don't know what it is it's just it's more fun it's it's it's, to me it's it's, yeah it's more fun to do the rust than the glossy yeah it is i can say it's boring but yeah, like the '63 I did for Paul, yeah, over on left coast. I mean, that came out really nice. But I mean, it's nice to look at. It, but it's just like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't amaze me, and I'm the one who did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say something about the the '24 um group build for the Rust Bucket group build '24. Yeah. Yeah. It's any vehicle. Any. Oh yeah. And anything it could be military aircraft um automobile uh, um uh, it could be uh, i'm into an, another community where you could just build um a robot out of plastic bottles yeah yeah it's, yeah so it's it's anything star wars you could rust you know whether a a star wars action figure or or um an x-wing it doesn't matter it's it's just it's having fun it's having the uh okay how, what cut type of weather can i do to whatever project i have on me yeah. that's pretty much it because yeah. you guys seen yeah. i done the hot wheels i did um the gundams uh, i did pretty much everything on those three months just just to show off that it's rust it's, it's doing a, a, the rust effect it's not it's not hard as people seem to do it or or seem to think right you say so so on that topic, we'll, we'll go into, uh, so we're going to do another, uh, podcast down the line here and you're going to do, and probably for your just video yourself too, uh, tutorial on doing the rust. Yeah. 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 And, and there's, a um, like the truck that I did for the fat fenders, fence and chrome that one has rust and yeah. it has a little bit of patina. So. I've been asked to to show how do I do the patina, yeah. like the uh, the USAC build. That one has both. Also, it's got um, yeah. the patina and the rust. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be pretty neat to do another podcast and and do an actual tutorial on, on how to do um, the the rust patina together. Yeah, yeah. the yeah that that's gonna be cool. Yeah, cool. I'm looking forward to that too. I I'd like to actually 
do it here at the same time when you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're doing it, I'll be doing it like right here next, right on the desk. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. on the uh, let's see at this one. So on this one, to do the just just a quick tutorial. Hopefully we don't run out of time. So yeah. to do the patina, you know the patina has got to have. Uh, it's, it's got to show the uh, aluminum or the metal look, right? So what you do is you primer and then you do your silver or gun metal. Yep. And then you yep. start with your coats. Once you're done with your coats, then you do the opposite. Obviously, you start sanding it down. And then once you get to the uh, gun metal look, then you stop. And then that's what gives you the look of, oh, yeah, the paint is worn out. And then now you see the metal. And then once you see the metal, you start dabbing your rust or run the metal part or the gun metal look and then i and then you just kind of wipe it down just just real quick and it gives you that effect i'll send you some pictures of, of the close-ups of, of those those areas so that you know you could post them in yeah. so people can see more up close how that works yeah because i'll have another fake tv down here yeah to show some pictures <laughs> yeah yeah uh well, let's see let's uh let's take a quick commercial break here and then um then we'll be back all right so we'll be back with uh, Marcel at Mars Garage and well, for you guys, probably 10, 15, 20 seconds. Hey, everybody, we are back. Marcel from Mars Garage. All right, so uh, we were just talking at break. Um, Want to show a couple of your uh, that one forty? It's a one forty third scale, right? Yeah, so, it's a one forty third scale. Looks like a matchbox. So, <laughs> yeah, it looks like a matchbox, but yeah, um, yeah. This was so. There's a uh, let's see if it'll pick up. So you guys have seen the video on this, and this was funny. Um, uh, my wife works for the uh, school district, so once a year she goes to this other town and she is doing um, her meetings and stuff. So I stayed at the hotel because it's like a four day thing. Yeah. So I'm at a hotel, just you know, putting plastic models together, killing some time. And I'm talking to BG, and he's telling me, "Hey, um, have you ever done a small scale?" I was like, "Nope, not interested. I'm just too small for me." Yeah. So tell you what, I'm gonna send you a kit, and I want you to join the group bill and let me know what you think sure enough sends me the kit i'm like oh my god what is wrong with this guy Dude, this I'm thing pretty, is so tiny i remember watching your video and uh you're taking it out of the box and stuff and it was like smaller than your fingers you know? yeah man this uh, yeah this thing is super <laughs> tiny it's, it's it's a little bit bigger than the hot wheel oh but, yeah okay man it was just like even putting it together even right now it's just it brings a smile to my face, which is weird. Like, yeah, out of all the kids that I've done, this is the one that's just like, this is, this was fun. This was actually fun, and and now I see why guys they they go, oh yeah, let's just do this, and it, it, it was a lot of fun. Will I do another one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, even though it's fun, it's it's a lot of work. It's to me, it it, it was a lot harder to do that little one than the yeah. great, normal twenty four scale, but. Yeah, that, that that was fun. You got to put your uh, high powered glasses on to do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stick shift was tiny, man. These, oh <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. Putting the steering wheel and the steering wheel column into. The, oh man, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I. Well, though, it was yeah. fun. Yeah, it was fun. And then um, for the rust bucket, if you guys remember, I did this one. This is a forty nine Ford, and yep. that it was completely rusted out with you know, the holes at the bottom and all that. So, yeah. yeah. So again, back to the rust bucket. So it doesn't really matter what, you know, what you have in, in your stash. It could be a brand new kit, an old kit, or just, just the body. And here's another one that I've done years ago. Yeah. I like that. So, but, what, uh, what's the dates for that again? The start in. So it starts in on July 1st, all the way down to September 30th. So it's uh three months. So, and then that was another thing uh, when I was telling um, the other guys about the timing. Um, I did, uh, one thing they said is try not to um, overlap or be at the same time with 
other group built. Yeah. Because then it kind of, um, like it, it makes it more stressful for anyone who's doing it. Cause I know I get stressed out when I'm like, Oh man, I'm, I'm on this one and I'm on this one. Yeah. And yeah. so now, now that I'm, I'm, I'm in the water, I guess. Um, I can see why that makes more sense. So I don't think there's um, another group build around that time. Um, if there is, I think it's... Um, I honestly uh, don't remember. Uh, the, the Porsche group build, I think that one runs around the same time as mine. But that, aside from that, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I was trying to be conscious of, 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 yeah. of the timing, so... I, I'm not positive, but I think um, uh, Jason, Blue Box Model Shop, I think he had his uh, the Street Machine group build, but I think it was it was longer than that one. Yeah, uh, his is uh, six months. So it starts, in I think, in July, and then it ends all the way down in De- on December. Yeah, because I did both, and I was, like, trying to concentrate on the Rust Bucket one more. Yeah. You know, because I did the... Oh man, I forgot what I did. Um, oh, the thirty-seven Ford pickup. Oh yeah, the one that's on your shop cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it used to be. Now I got a new shop cart. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You got the fifty, the red fifty-seven. The fifty-five. Did I did oh, fifty-five? The, yeah, yeah. The yeah. group build for uh, Jason, yeah. and then yeah. um, uh, my old sixty-seven Pro Street Impala. Yeah, yeah. yeah changed it. Um, I don't know, man. I'm looking forward to the to the to the rust bucket group build again, though. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I, I'm by the way, I I see through the comments and and people just talking about it. I, I think it's uh, it's it's yeah. gonna be fun. It's gonna be more more participants. I think I had um uh thirty, if I remember correctly. I think I have thirty members uh joining, and and I got one that was um. He doesn't have a, a a channel, but he sent me the pictures, and then on my yeah. recap, yeah. I added his pictures on yeah. on yeah. on it. But yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we'll we'll get more um more to join in. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, that it, should be fun. It'd be cool. Uh, yeah. So, what do you know? What you're going to build for that yet? No, <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had something in mind, and then I I kind of changed my mind, but. So now I'm kind of still figuring out what I'm going to do, but so I have a um, I have to I have the Chevy Cameo. Um, my daughter got me this this truck. I don't know if you remember. Uh, she went to a Goodwill and she paid like five bucks for it, and it was already put together. But I've been trying to take it apart. Yeah. But the hood, it's like melted shut on that body. So oh, I've been trying cool. to carve it out, and it's, it's, I I can't just take it up take that hood apart. Everything else is off the cab. The bed everything is off except for the hood the hood is just glue shot huh. and so i think that one that might be my candidate so now that i'm doing um this rust stuff i, I think i might just next year I'm, I'm thinking about doing a a series of of just nothing but rust cars yeah i might start off with the truck or, or a 40 ford and then just rust it out and just work my way out so i want to have a, a collection of, of nothing but fully rusted cars kind of like like this one, it'll yeah. be fully rusted, just, just, just for me. Not it, no paint, just all rust. So we could yeah. do a thirty-two yeah. Ford, fully rusted. Then um, uh, a sixty-nine Nova, fully rusted with holes and everything. Yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah. thinking about just doing that for the future or next year. So I, I got to set aside a stash for that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, we're running out of time. I don't know if you popped up on your screen. <laughs> uh oh yeah 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 okay uh so yeah um definitely go check out mars garage on youtube and uh you know be waiting for the group build joining in that it's gonna be awesome and uh you know we'll have you on again you know and we'll do the tutorial how to type thing or whatever and then yeah yeah um maybe you can do a video on your own or whatever on how to do uh Tina and Rust, Rust holes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I yeah. can't, I can't get that down yet. <laughs> I'm still learning that, but so yeah, 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 so, for sure. Thanks, Mars, for uh, coming on. Yeah, thanks for ha- having me, man. And uh, 
you know, we'll talk again stuff and, you know, we always talk in text or whatever anyway. So yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah. Thanks everybody for watching and, uh, we'll be back. See ya.